The Glom. Item number, SCP-601. Object class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. The isolation room SCP-601 inhabits is constantly sealed from outside atmosphere. Examining SCP-601 requires a full hazardous material suit and boots. An oxygen tube connecting to the observation room will be connected as SCP-601 constantly poisons the surrounding environment with spores and noxious gas, most of immediate lethality to all other biological life forms. Any safety leaks or tears in examining team's suits should be met with immediate severance from the oxygen supply and abandonment in the room to be consumed by SCP-601. SCP-601 feeds on biological life forms. The spores in the air surrounding it quickly disintegrating flesh and causing advanced necrosis. To avoid needless biological losses, SCP-601 is instead fed daily with 8 to 10 pints of toxic chemicals, which it can seemingly survive from alone. Cleaning supplies are perfect for its requirements. Fresh air is notably poisonous to SCP-601 and must be kept out of the room at all times. Description: SCP-601, or The Glom, as it was locally known in Data Expunged when first encountered, was living in the sewer system leading from a chemical plant, feeding on the chemical remains flushed from the plant, resembling a sickened, bloated humanoid of great proportions, covered in constantly opening sores, infected wounds, and cancerous growths. Its consumption of biological matter slowly adds to the size of its overall mass, and SCP-601 apparently secretes no waste matter of any kind. The spores that emit from its body have been examined to contain various toxins, infectious bacteria, and virulent bases, changing on a near-hourly basis in lethality. SCP-601 is a veritable farming ground of constantly evolving biological warfare and must be kept from SCP-353 at all costs. <laughs>